to, to discuss was um, your interest in the, the marine or aquatic environments and, and diving into the Bachelor of um, Marine Biology early in life. So what kind of got you into that in the, in the early days? I think it was it really just growing up around the beach and that love for the ocean and, you know, how important it is to everyone really, you know, as a, as a worldwide uh, thing, it's, it's pretty, pretty important. And for me, I just was always, like I said, same with the cooking when I was a little kid, I was one of those people that's just always wanted to ask questions and know the answer to, you know, why this, why that. I, my dad always tells a story that we're, when I was sort of old enough to sort of get my head around, you know, what a road was and how it worked, I'd say, oh, dad, what's, a, what's, what's under the bitumen? And he goes, oh, you have road base. And it's like, what's under the road base? And I just would just keep going until he sort of got to the middle of the earth, basically. You know, it's like, just wanted to know more and more. And I think that curiosity sort of comes through when it, um, when I look at my sort of love for the ocean and, initially you know a lot of people think of marine biology and they think of like dolphin trainers and you know this sort of stuff George Costanza in Seinfeld but for me my um my sort of like path in the marine biology world was sort of a lot of it had to do with like aquatic plants and and photosynthesis so that was sort of my passion and where we're at we did a lot of um work on uh, ocean acidification and the impact that CO2 levels in the atmosphere, the rising CO2 levels in atmosphere affects the uh, like pH level of our ocean and how that then impacts like coralline algae. So the, you know, the corals that are sort of made out of calcium, similar to our teeth, um, if you put them in an acidic solution, then they start to break down. So that was sort of where we went with that, um, that, that sort of science side of things. But um, for me, it was just a real joy, you know, going to university to learn about something that I've spent my whole life being a part of and getting a real in-depth and broad knowledge of like the the plants, the the geography, the everything, the the whole part of um the ocean was pretty um pretty cool, really interesting. And something that I look back on now and I, I really just think it was a real highlight of, you know, things that I've done. I even said to my missus the other day, I was like, oh maybe when I retire, I'll go back to uni and do some more study. And she just looked at me like I was a weirdo, but I, um, it's, it's learning is a great thing. And whether it's learning at a university or learning at a TAFE or watching YouTube videos online, there's, you know, or listening to a podcast like this, being able to learn and being curious and, and sort of opening your world up a little bit is, um, is pretty important. And these days it's just so accessible. It's so easy. Like you can't, go two seconds without you know hearing another podcast or you know checking something out on youtube that you've heard about it's um we're pretty lucky in this day and age to be able to have so much access to information and basically everything we want at our fingertips come into your ecological um, involvement even in your cooking so we you were just talking about the taste of australia um, mm. your tv series you know diving for abalone and rounding up sheep, catching crayfish, all that kind of thing. I guess that all really feeds into to your passions. And um, I think one, one of the quotes from Oprah Winfrey that she said was, passion is energy that comes from focusing on what excites you. And I think that if you can even hear in the way that you're talking that all of these things, um, you know, when you bring them together, you're cooking the water um, and your interest in marine biology, you're really passionate about what you do. And I think that's one of the things that makes you such a normless uh, mm. individual. Yeah, thanks, mate. No, I, I I am really passionate. And to be honest, I wouldn't have uh, pushed myself for the last 10 years to get to where I am if I wasn't excited and passionate about what we do every day, because it's been a bit of a hard slog, but we've, uh, we've, we've got there. And I think anyone that starts out in any sort of business, whether it be making a TV show or setting up a gym or doing a podcast, you're not going to hit the home run, you know, in the first six months. Some people do, and that's, you know, good for them. But it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of passion. And that passion, like you said, it doesn't come from just anywhere. You you can't just sort of cultivate it. It's got to be deeply embedded in the person and who you are. And for me, yeah, it's it's always been that that sort of love of the food, food and ocean and, and people, I think, um, and the stories that people have. And the fact that, you know, our world that we live in is just so vast and so different. Um, I've, I've been lucky to do a lot of travel overseas and also at home um over the last sort of i guess sort of two three years it's been a lot of travel at home for taste of australia which is an amazing 
program an amazing opportunity for me to get out there and meet our incredible producers and farmers and providors and artisans and you know people doing stuff on the land and doing things with their hands and creating products that you know are really really quite exciting and we're so lucky in Australia with what we have on our doorstep you know we've got every climate we can imagine we've got every landscape we've got every sort of food crop whatever you want we can get it right here and um that's what I think makes our country pretty special and that's what gets me excited about you know cooking and developing recipes and coming up with ideas and you know when we hit the road to go filming we you know it's sort of like a mystery box you know I obviously know where we're going and know what we're going to see but you know I might do a story and we're you know we're looking at a, a lamb farmer and then we go and see a berry person and then we go to a brewery and it's like oh how do I make all those things sort of come together in a in one recipe and that's that's really exciting it's really fun it's sort of forced creativity in a way um, but it's also controlled which is nice to be able to have some parameters but then just have an open-ended amount of yeah creativity when it comes to to the food side of things.